Hey guys, what's going on? Coming to you from the great city of Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm the one and only Strawberry Ice. Now, yesterday, let's get into this. This is my two cents. The Cleveland Browns signed Kareem Hunt. Now, I do not condone violence against women. No kicking, no punching, no nothing. I don't think you do that. I have a daughter. If you touch her, you got to deal with me. So, let's get into the story. Everybody's like, okay, why is he getting a second chance? I'm shocked it took this long for somebody to sign him, to be honest. He's a really good football player. I mean, I'm sorry, but everybody deserves a second chance. Looks like he's doing the stuff he's supposed to do. Now, for the Browns, I don't think it's a bad move. They have two legitimate running backs right now. If they sign Kareem Hunt and he comes in and he's suspended for 8 to 10 games, it's kind of what it looks like it might be, it's not going to hurt them. They have two running backs, so you deal with them, you put him in, and you see what happens. If it doesn't work, you get rid of him. I mean, the thing is, he can play. If he couldn't play, he wouldn't be there. If he didn't lie to the Chiefs, he'd still be on the Chiefs. I guarantee you that. The Chiefs would have stuck with him, but he lied to him, so they couldn't trust him, so they got rid of him. Now, you say, Strawberry, well, what about Colin Kaepernick? Well, Colin Kaepernick can't play anymore. He can't play as good as he did. If he was playing as good as he did when he led the 49ers to the Super Bowl, he would still be their quarterback, protesting or not. He lost his quarterback, starting quarterback job to, I don't even know the guy's name. I don't remember. That's how bad he was playing at the time. So, and then the whole protest thing happened and it all blew up from there. So, I go the same thing for Ray Rice, Tim Tebow, any of these guys. If they can play, they'll put up with a lot of stuff. If you can't, they're going to get rid of you. I mean, the Bengals put up with Chad Johnson for almost 10 years. He was a really good football player. Once he couldn't play anymore, they got rid of him. I mean, the Steelers, they've been going dealing with Antonio Brown and all his shenanigans. Now, it looks like that might be over because the thing is, he started to disrupt team chemistry. Now, if you're disrupt, disrupting team chemistry, it's different. Now, Kareem Hunt's going to come in there, and everybody's going to dab him up, you know, say, you're our teammate, we're behind you, because it looks like he's doing the right things, plus he can play. I'm sure there's some Steelers that don't want to get rid of Antonio Brown, but he's not showing up to practice, showing up late to games, different stuff like that. Now, Brown also took to Instagram today to looks like to say goodbye to Steelers Nation. So, he thinks he's gone. Reports are the Steelers will be taking offers on him during the NFL Combine. Hey, as a Bengals fan, good job, Steelers. Keep it up. You guys are having a great offseason. I think you should do this every year. Oh, so excited. Great. Remember back in, way back in 2000, when the Reds brought home their hometown kid, Ken Griffey Jr.? Everybody was so excited. We just came off that 99 season. Now, getting to his contract. Ken Griffey Jr. signed a nine-year, $117 million contract with the Reds back in 2000. Now, he deferred $57 million of that. The reason he deferred it was so the Reds could go get players. Well, the Reds lied to him and lied to us. I'd say the Reds ownership did that. And they didn't go get any players. See, this is where the contract didn't work out good for the Reds at all. We're still paying them. Since 2008, the Reds have paid him $3.5 million every year. This is going to be a total of 16 payments all the way through 2024. Now, this has turned out to be a bad deal for the Reds because the Reds never contended with junior year because they never paid anybody except Barry Larkin. So you had two guys, granted they're both in the Hall of Fame, but two guys don't make a baseball team. You need pitching, and they would not go get any pitching. All they had to do is do what the Reds did this year. If they would have got, now the Reds didn't go out and get Dallas Keuchel or any of these top starters. They got really good, legit starters for you know cheaper, cheaper money. That's all the Reds had to do back then. I wish Carl Linder would have done that, but he didn't. So, looking back, it wasn't a good contract for the Reds. It should have been. It should have been a great thing for the Reds. Hopefully this year, 
with what the Reds have done in the offseason, it's going to be like 99. The Reds made a couple trades. You got Denny Nagel. You got uh, Greg Vaughn that year. And they took off. This year, we got Puig. We got Kemp. We got Roke. We got Wood. There's a lot of good stuff going on. So, hopefully the Reds will take off and we'll make the playoffs. That would be awesome. Bengals news. AJ Green went to Instagram. I said, if you're not on Instagram, you need to get there. If you do, check me out. Sports with Strawberry Ice. Anyway, AJ Graham, AJ Green said he is boot free. That is good news for the Bengals. So hopefully he can get ready to practice, get ready for the season, and the Bengals can dominate. I really don't think that's going to happen because there's a lot of holes the Bengals and Zach Taylor have got to fix. But having a healthy A.J. Green is a step in the right direction. Now, that's the end of the show. Anything you guys like, comment, like, do it below the comment box. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of that. I will be posting the show to all of those venues. Other than that, that's just sports, baby. Take it easy, guys.